Today, we are going to create a custom sound effect by using timer nodons. Here, let's see what will happen after we have defeated this fluff ball. Yeah, so there is this Final Fantasy VII with 3 fanfare. Let's see how we will do it with Timer Nodons. In this method, each timer will represent a node. In this music sheet, the tempo is 120, so one beat has 0 0.5 second. The first note's duration is one third of a beat, so we need to play it for 0 0.18 second. Let's add the timer. And for the first note, we want to start playing it as soon as we have received the signal. So here we input 0. Continue output for how long? This is the duration of the note. In this case, it is 0 0.18. And let's look at the music sheet. There are three sounds for the first note, which are E, G, and high C. So we need three sound nodons. So here is the high C. Let's select a trumpet with high C. And then we also need G, as well as E. When this timer is activated, we want to play these three notes. So we connect the output of the timer to the inputs of the music notes. Let's test. Let's add a button for testing. I change this button to be on press. And then I connect this to the timer. So now when I press B, the timer will receive an input and then we will be able to hear the music. Okay, let's add the second timer for the second note. We have to delay the timer by the duration of the previous note, which is 0 0.18. And this note also has the same bit as the first one, so we also use this as 0 0.18. And it also uses the same keys, so we can reuse them. Okay, so when the first timer ends, the second timer will start. Let's test. But right now we could only hear one long sound, right? It should be like tut tut. Just now it was like tut. That's because the second timer starts as soon as the first timer ends. So it looks like we have been sending the signal for 0.36 seconds. To prevent this, we have to make the first timer slightly shorter. We have to reduce the duration of the output. Let's keep it 0.16. Okay, let's try it. So now it has become tut tut instead of tut. Let's add the third note. The third note has the same keys and the same beat as the second one. So we can copy the second one and then we connect to the same keys. But because these two have the same keys, we have to go to the second timer settings and then reduce the duration to be 0 0.16. So now it will be... Yeah, that's our first tree. So I'm going to add more keys and then continue with the rest. So basically, there are three steps. The first one is to add one timer per one note. The second one is to go to the setting and set the output after how many seconds to be the previous note duration. And to set the continued output for how long to be the current note duration. And the third step is that if the, it uses the same key as the previous, we will reduce the previous notes. Continue output for how long. Yeah, so that's it for our Final Fantasy VII Victory Fanfare. Okay, let's play this when the fluff ball is destroyed. Here I need to detect 
whether a fluff ball is destroyed. So I have to go to input, state change, object break. And here I have to detect the fluff ball. Then I connect this one to the timer. Okay, let's test it. Yay! Also, you may have seen a marker no dot method in my previous tutorial. So when do you start one? Let's go take a look at it. So this is my previous tutorial that I used the marker node on. You can find the link in the description box below. We can use this when we want to be able to change the tempo. For example, I want to speed up when B is pressed. I can add button press B. The settings is while pressed. Then V is pressed, I will count up faster. Let's try it. See? Yeah, so it has more flexibility. Another use case that the marker nodon method is more useful is when we want to be able to stop the music. For example, I want to stop the music when B is pressed. I can add minus. And then 1 minus B. So now when B is pressed, this will output 1 and the calculator here will give 0. If B is not pressed, we will continue counting up. Let's press B. See, now we can pause the music. Yeah. So with the Markham Nodon method, you have more control on how you want to play the music. And that's it for today's tutorials. Leave me any suggestions or tutorial requests in the comments. Lastly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future updates. Bye-bye and see you soon!